This is a follow-up to the original Panamount's phase change thermal material video. They sent me a new version of it based on my feedback when I was doing the installation, had a few challenges, and they revised the design of the pads to make it easier. So in this video, I'm going to be trying this new version out, seeing how it works. First off, I take off the CPU and you can see that I basically have full coverage even with the mistakes that I made installing it the first time. It squeezes out to the point that, yeah, you get full coverage, so it's not really a big deal in my opinion either way. So with the installation, I don't think it's a big deal if you mess up a little bit. It's fine. Obviously with this new version, it should be even easier. I clean up the original material with some alcohol and such. No issues with that. I try to get it as clean as possible on the CPU and the heatsink as well as around the CPU. There's just a little bit of flakes of the material around. I don't think that's really an issue because I don't think it's thermally conductive so we're, we should be good. Also on the top of the AMD CPUs there's some type of coating so I don't think it's going to short anything even if it were. For the new installation I cut it to size first in one direction so it'll fit on the CPU and the heatsink without overlapping too much. And then I took off the first piece of material, that's the thinner clear plastic. No issues with that. I do use the spatulas quite a bit in this installation process just to help it unstick from the edges of it. Definitely an improvement already. The second material is much more dense. I think this is great. It definitely helps out with installation in this case. So I put it on the CPU and I don't cut it the other direction first. What I do is just again use the spatula to unbond the edge a little bit throughout the material to start separating the other plastic and that. I just go down the line. Obviously you have to be a little bit careful if you try to curve the hard plastic too much. Don't want to do that because right at the edge you'll probably overlap like I did but it still wasn't really a big issue. With AM5 CPUs, they have really large gaps on the sides. Not ideal for a material like this, but it does work just fine. In this case, I was using the two spatulas, the large spatula to catch the material and the small spatula to basically cut off pieces on the sides. It worked just fine. It takes a little bit of technique, but yeah, you probably don't even need to remove that if you don't want. Obviously, just leave it there. There is going to be some material that sticks to the heatsink, like we saw looking at the original material. Yeah, it's just going to be there. You could always take off the CPU heatsink and, and remove that and then reapply it if you really wanted to, but I don't think it's a problem. Overall, I do think they improved the installation process. Even so, with this phase change material in general, it's going to take some technique to install it. But it shouldn't be an issue either way if you mess up or not. I think you'll still get pretty nice coverage between the CPU and heatsink. Again, keep in mind that Panamont sent me the original version and this version to try out at no cost. And they had no say in the content of the video based on my collaboration terms. So yeah, just take it for what it is. That said, pretty cool material. It's fun to mess around with, and I'd have enjoyed trying it out. Scout Tech, I suppose. See ya.